hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is Tia and I am back with another video so welcome welcome to my channel I'm glad you guys are here um, if you're new to my channel my channel is a mix of different things I've just decided that I'm not gonna stick to beauty because I just like a lot of different things I like I want to show you guys different things so different things meaning it'll range from beauty to unboxings to food <laughs> cooking any of that it'll be there with that being said if you like to subscribe if you like to go through my content and see if you like anything or you know if you want to subscribe please subscribe and yeah let's go ahead and get into this video which is me unboxing three ldl london bags that i bought i bought them a minute ago probably like over a month ago and i just haven't done a video on it and apparently ldl london they're I don't know what they're doing with their site, but these bags are not on the site anymore. Well, two of the bags are not on the site anymore, so I don't know if they're revamping or if they're getting new products in, or I don't really know what's going on, but I got these bags, and I did get them for 50% off, um, and it was over a month ago, so um, yeah. And yeah, so we're going to get into that, and we're going to see what I got, and if you guys are interested, then go ahead and keep watching and subscribe, comment, share, all the above. Tell your mama, your daddy, your grandma, your cousin, your sister, share this video with them. Or go back into my other videos and share some of those videos with them. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and start. Okay, so I have three bags sitting right here. And I actually haven't looked at these bags in a long time, so... It's just like a new unboxing. I did look at them when I first got them, but I don't, I know what they look like, but I haven't like seen them in a minute. So the great thing about LTL London is they do give you like a nice shopping bag to go with it and also a dust bag. Now the dust bag is drawstring, it's satin. It's like a really hard satin. It's not really like the nicest quality. It's not silky and smooth like that, but it is satin. And they do also give you a ribbon, so if you wanted to tie the ribbon around the bag and give the bag as a gift to someone, that is like a nice, cute idea. Don't know where they're what they're doing with their site, but they do still have products on the site, but it's not these bags. At least two of them, they're not on there. But I got these bags for 50% off, like all of them 50% off, so that's why I ended up going ahead and buying it. And yeah, so first bag is right here. And it's, I just really like the fact that they give you a cute shopping bag. It just gives you like a luxury experience. Even though the bags are not like luxury, it gives you a nice little feeling, especially if you're giving it to someone as a gift. That's just like a really nice experience for them. So here is the first bag. It comes in a dust bag and a dust bag also has LTL London on it and it says where luxury meets affordability which which is really nice it's nice you know we all want some luxury we all want to feel luxe but everyone can afford it like you know what I'm so unboxing so this is the first bag I ended up picking up like it is so pretty let me get this out of the way you know double flap dupe and if you open it you have the second flap right here and then that, this flap has a, a magnetic button right there then you have the zipper right here which is I don't know what you're supposed to put up here but from what I hear when Coco Chanel she used to put her love letters up here I don't know how true that is but I did hear it somewhere and then you have like a back pocket right here you can slip whatever in there but the biggest space is just under the second flap which is in here and it comes stuffed so you can help it keep its shape and then you know it has the red chain to match the bag and yeah and then you have another slot right here so you can put like I don't know receipts or your phone or something right there if you want it to and then on the back it also has like a an opening you can't fit your phone in here I guess you can like that if you have one of the smaller phones you make it fit it this way but I have a pop socket on there so yeah but this flap I don't know you can fit whatever little I don't know what, what you would want to fit in there 
And then it has the strap, and it has in the two sections right here. And you can just pull them up like this. And then this way, it could become a like shoulder bag like this. So that's pretty cute, you know. And the leather, I don't even know if this is real leather, but whatever material this is, it's really soft. It's a nice quality. It feels really nice. It doesn't feel cheap. But yeah, you can have it like that, or you can stretch it out, um, keep it long ways, and you can have a crossbody bag. But I'm not going to do that because it still has the plastic on it. So yeah, just because for the sake of the video, you guys all know how that works. Yep, so this is the the first bag. It is nice, super cute, and yeah. I don't know if this is real leather, so I'm going to check to see. I don't think their bags are real leather. Because from what I hear, they get their bags from AliExpress. But this one, that bag is called the Seville Bag in medium and red. It was originally $123, but of course I got it 50% off. And the next bag right here that one came in a white dust bag this one comes in a black dust bag and again it has the same bag the dust bag with it and this one is my favorite one i really love this one this is also a chanel dupe and this leather or whatever this material is it isn't as soft it seems to be more durable but it is nice and it also has the same flap, the double flap. It just comes in this beige new color. And it is burgundy on the inside like the other one. It's just like the same setup, the same making as the other one. But I really, really love this color. And I love the print. Like the print of the other one is the checkup print. This one is like the lines. So that's the difference. They are... They are the same size, just a different print and a different color. And it does have also the LTL London tag. So if I was to take this out of the plastic, it would be the same way that the other bag is made as far as the chain. And it also does have this part up here as well too. And this is the gold hardware. That one also has the gold hardware. So yeah, this one is my favorite. I really love this color. I love this bag. I love the print. It it feels, it doesn't feel like leather. It also doesn't smell like leather. It smells like plastic. <laughs> so the material is like, it seems like it's gonna be very durable. Um, it's not, it doesn't feel like leather. Like if you guys go back and look at my previous video of the Chanel dupe that I had posted it was the Chanel 19 flap dupe that is real leather and you can tell I could feel the leather on it you can smell the leather and it feels really nice but this it just feels durable it feels like it's not gonna like you know like it's not gonna move it feels durable so you know yeah Okay, so the final bag again comes with the bag and the black bag and this one is is not a Chanel dupe it's actually a Gucci dupe and this one this one stinks it, 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 it doesn't smell good um, I can smell it as it I opened it it's not that great of quality either it feels it feels cheap and, and usually when they have these like things like tags is supposed to show that as real leather but this is not real leather it doesn't even smell like real leather it stinks it's so bad i really don't like this bag i don't like the way it's made i don't like the way it feels i don't like the quality of it but it is supposed to be a gucci dupe i think the gucci um i don't know what the gucci what it's called but this is supposed to be the gucci dupe and it has the same like making of the string as the other one 
and then you can make it a cross body. Now this bag they still have on the site. So this bag is called the Valentina bag in pink. The red bag was the Seville bag in medium and red. And then the nude bag was the Chevron bag in nude. They don't have the Chevron or the Seville bag anymore, but they do have the Valentina bag on their site. Mm -hmm. Yes, they definitely still have this bag on the site. Again, I got it 50% off. They now are running a 20% off sale. So if you were interested in getting this bag, which I don't recommend because I don't really like the quality of this. It is, it's not great at all. But just for the shits and giggles, I'm gonna just like open it so you can see and then it has the flap. And then in the inside it has a zipper that you can unzip in and then they put like an airbag in there to keep the shape, which is nice, you know, it's always nice. Then you have the inside, then you have a, like a zipper back here. And that's just what it looks like. And then you have a little flap right here, but this bag is made really cheaply. This, $106, excuse me. This is $106 on their site right now. I wouldn't recommend this bag, but if they did have the other two bags, they, of course they're sold out because I think they're trying to clear their site, but they're sold out. They are much better quality in my opinion. Just off first impressions, this one is a no-go for me. If I could send it back, I would, but I've had it too long to send it back. I don't really like this. I don't like the quality. It feels like something that you can get from like Rainbow or one of those stores like that. It's not quality at all. So yeah, I don't recommend that one, but yeah. I just wanted to share those bags with you because I really like the other two and um, I know that LCLN is going through whatever their little, whatever they got going on. So I guess it is, I guess once they revamp or put whatever else, other, other products that they have on this site, it might be better. Um, they might have better products. They might have better bags. I know I've like gone through like YouTube videos and I've seen other bags that they had on their site that they no longer have on their site that look really good. They, they did have some that were real leather, but I don't think these bags that I've shown you were real leather. So yeah. All right guys, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys subscribe. Hope you guys shared this video or all my other videos or whatever you guys wanna do. And yeah, come back and see me. All right guys, until the next one, bye.